I? Well, there's three of you. There is more than three of you. Look out! Potato. Think not. Oh, Fessa, there's a quite a few. I think not. Do not attack me like that. I refuse. Okay, so I hope you don't mind that I use stupefy. Get down. And stay down. Not my professor, thank you very much. Double the light, even better. Stay close. Yeah, I'm staying close. I don't like this professor. Professor? Professor Fig! This is no time to be professor, doing a disappearing act. This isn't good. I didn't. I, I did not approve of disappearing yes. acts. There's a chest. Hold on. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? Forty-one gold. Yes, the please. The of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. This way. There is nothing but pitch darkness here. I don't approve of this. I don't like darkness. Okay, maybe not. There's no darkness. Oh, that's where they lead oh me. don't be another a one. Gardener. I don't have Professor Fig with me. Oh, well, this is grand. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Oh. Uh. You're already in line. You're not in line. Oh. There we go. It seems I have no choice. Okay. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. I did not approve of you all attacking me. Stupid. Get stupefied and stay stupefied. Oh, hello. More of you. Excuse me, I think not. Go on, keep coming and I'll come for you. Ooh, oh. Go Stupid away! Oh, any more? Why did it have to go dark all the time? Couldn't someone light these torches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, hello. You are a thing. Oh. What am I fighting now? Oh, I broke it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Well, that's something. Okay, this is interesting. Is that a chest over there? Revelio. That is a chest over there. That's mine. Gimme. And over there. Gimme. I take all the loot, thank you very much. Sis, what are you? What do you want? Uh, there you are. How 
did you? What is this place? Good question. I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Okay. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Oh, great. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... Did he just... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more... Not a than chance. Ow. Get Professor, we gotta go. Professor. Oh. Holy. 
Marilyn. That was a bit close. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. And where exactly is here? Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Wait, is this... Professor? the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Oh, I liked my old clothes. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Just a bit. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Not someone to like then? Fig! Nice of you to join us. Oh, okay. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I guess I've got to go. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Please be. Not awkward at all. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Just a bit. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I guess, yes. I mean, I can't really wait to explore, to be honest. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, 
What is it? Ambition? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. I most certainly do. Put me in there. You belong in Slytherin! Oh, I'm green now. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. And I just sat down. Well, I'm still standing, Quite but still. an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. And you too. I'm Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Oh god, it's a snake. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Whew. That was a good sleep though. I gotta admit. Can I eat an apple? Num, num, num. Mine. Apples. Ooh. This place just reminds me of a greenhouse. Oh, there's people. Hi, people! I suppose some introductions are in order. Who's first? Who can I speak I to you. first? Must be different. What about you? Already knew that. Hello. Can I help you? Um. Did you see the way? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thanks. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. I'll admit, it was a tiny bit exciting, though. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience, nonetheless. Interesting perspective. 
How did you and Fig manage to escape? We jumped. And it's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. If... Uh, you don't mind me asking, but what, what were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. Ha <laughs> ha! That is a conversation for another time. Oh, come on. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Making me wait. That's cruel. Thank you anyway, Sebastian. I think me and him will go be great friends. If he teaches me more spells, that'd be great. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Hello? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Confidence, I like it. I wish you would have been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. You mention the broom a lot. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. He seems to know a lot about chess, though. With that guy, you practically would have won that game. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. She's got some confidence. Blimey. I really hope we get to see or at least hear one today. Hello. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I mean, I do kind of like to make an entrance. Not always, but sometimes. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin, by the way? Just asking. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. I see. Well, a change of topic. Those guys mentioned that they could hear something. Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> Sounds hilarious. Nice meeting you, Ominous. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. <laughs>